Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back. So I had done a jersey for somebody and one of the issue I came across was I messed up with the numbers. So um, the person did like a tally of where to put them and everything. And what I did was like I was trying to speed up production. And in that uh, speeding up production, I messed up with the numbers. So what are you going to do if you're doing jerseys and you messed up with the vinyl numbers? Like there's only one thing you can do and that is use the vlr right so i got this from heat press nation i did a video about this before and all this is just it removes the vinyl so let me show you what happened right so this is a 22 i already um fixed the error of you know getting the right number for that for the right jersey but i'm stuck with this one that does not have the right number and thank god i ain't put the front um, right, so it's that one and also this one right here, right? I put the front in the back. So that's why I try not to rush with stuff. I usually tell people, give me like two to three business days, um, sorry, two to three weeks so I can finish everything. Sometime I finish within weeks, sometime earlier, sometimes within that time frame. So, um, so to help you out, VLR, we're going to remove some vinyl and then we're going to heat press the right number on there and we should be good to go. All right, cool. So we're going to put push the table sliding thingy, the slide out drawer, whatever you want to call it. All right, cool. So this is a two uh, sided jersey. So all I'm going to do is just flip it to the side that has the vinyl. I'm gonna go grab some, it's kinda semi stuck to the white one. All right, let's attach all that. Okay, cool. So, all I'm gonna do is just squirt some VLR onto all this and then it's gonna be removed. So, you know what? Um, yeah, let's do that right now. Okay, that's one part. Open this up a little bit. Try to make sure the other jersey doesn't get a hold of it because after I'm done, I'm just gonna heat press um, the part that did get the. Okay, all right, now let's do this. Sorry. And this is not harmful unless ingested. And once heat press and wash, everything should be all set. It doesn't take that long. Just leave it for a little bit. Let it set in. All right. Then you can just pick any piece and just see if you can remove it. So now the VLR detaches the bond from the vinyl to the fabric because the fabric has special fabric adhesive glue that allows the Of, I mean, the vinyl has special fabric adhesive glue that allows the um, the vinyl to stick onto the clothing. For some reason that was hard to say. Sometime you may wait a few seconds, but once you have it, if you have a good pull. Grab the parts that's able to be removed a lot faster because some parts need more time to have the adhesive completely removed. It needs some time. 
or if you want you can go don't use too much just a little bit sometimes the minute the contact hits it's quick releasing Sorry about that, I hit the phone. I need to try to make this not too long. Tell you what, um, now that you see it being removed, let me pause the video, right? I'm gonna remove the whole thing. And then after that, we'll come back, okay? So as you can see, it's being removed, but it's gonna be like in slow-mo, so. Okay, cool. So the VLR just removed all this vinyl right here. And uh, this is the part that had the vinyl. This is how it looks now. All right. Nothing on the front, nothing on the back. Go back to usual. So now all you would do is just he pressed this once and then you should be all set you can put another vinyl on it when you heat press it what it does is it removes some of the um extra adhesive that may be still on the fabric um actually no sorry it makes the adhesive a little bit looser so when you're um putting another vinyl on there it's it sits perfect right um also it helps evaporate some of the vlr um, from the actual fabric because the VLR, I think it, it contains some kind of um, uh, alcohol type liquid in it. So that part will evaporate and then once you wash it, the whole thing is completely off. Um, yeah, so it's out. We're going to move forward and now we're going to heat press another vinyl on it. All right. This is the other one. Now we're going to do the same exact thing. Um, Spray it on there, and you know what? I'm just gonna remove it, and then um, you'll see the example. I mean, you. And my thing with tutorials is like, I typically forget to do those um, speed rewind. I mean, speed fast forward type of things. Um, I don't know why. I normally forget, and then I just let go of the video, and before you know it, it's a long video. So, let's see. Let's go lay this on. And we're just going to remove a corner, so you can see it for demonstration purposes. And after that, the good news is, it's not on the white at all, it's only on the black. So, you always just want to make sure when you tell the person... Um, right. you use a special chemical to remove whatever vinyl was there so they may have to wash it and that should be no problem alright okay when you put the right amount right when you put the right amount all you do is you just pick a corner and it just comes off easy like butter you can even you can hear it coming off all right so i'm gonna pause the video again remove the whole thing and then all right this is the last one cool all right so this one has nothing on it too the front, it's the back. All right, time to do some heat pressing. All right, cool. So before we heat press, um, let's remove the. Remember, it's VLR. All right, vinyl removing. Um, uh, letter removal solvent. Uh, sorry, removing solvent. All right, um. So let's get the vinyl set 
and then uh, get ready to go. All right. This is it right here. All right, this is it right here. That's what we're gonna put on it. Um, that's what we removed, and also we needed a number seven for the other vinyl. Please hold. Okay, number seven. Where are you, number seven? Oh, there you are. Hold on. Cool. Got the number seven. All right. These are the two things that were needed. Well, actually, four things that was needed. So, on the medium was a 23 and a regular um, uh, logo. And then on the small is a 7. And also a regular logo. So we're going to set these aside, get them ready. Let's do numbers first. Letters last. And we're just going to set it aside right here. All right, so the medium is going to go first. The medium is 23. And then after that, um, we're going to do seven. That's the, I think, the um, extra large uh, teenager or whatever, uh, or extra large youth. All right. So I'm going to turn on the heat press and heat press it before we begin. But first, before you do anything, just in case you have an itch in your eye, you want to wash these hands so whatever chemical is here can be washed off your hands all right but before you do that they need to make a screw top um just take the top and put it right back and should be all set all right hold on all right so i made a big mistake for one reason i'm going to show you why when you look at the jersey right this part tells you this side is the inside that's when you hold it up to where you see the um the crease i don't know if you can see it hope you can if not it's okay so yeah when you hold it normally you know this is the front this is the back what i did was i didn't do that what i i just threw it on the heat press and then i tried to like heat press um the image on there but i should have done this first to figure out the front from the back now, once you figure out the front from the back, if you're going to heat press the front, the front has to face the heat press because um, this one I can thread it on, but the small you can't because this is a 15 by 15. This one right here is a 16. Um, each one of them, you can thread the, the t-shirts on there. The only issue is the smaller it is, the harder it is because the platen is a little bit too big. All right, cool. So now we have it set, and this video is getting long. Um, all right, cool. So now you have it set. Use your um, t-shirt graphic placement um, guide to properly align it. Okay. So the 23 is supposed to be on there. So let's get the 23 on there, right? So it's a 23. Get your placement guide to arrange everything correctly. And then shoot your vinyl. Be on top of the red marking. And then once you have it properly placed, it looks nicely spaced. Remove this. Bam. All right. Now all you need to do is oh I forgot to check the temperature. Yep, it's good enough temperature. Right now I'm heat pressing it for two hundred and looks like eighty four degrees for thirty seconds. Vinyl normally is between two thirty to like three hundred. Um, and if you have a really good one, you 
probably need 15 to 30 seconds, all right, for a good vinyl. All right. Okay. So now we have the front all set. This is how you know it's a medium. They'll say it on there. And also, I know it's a medium because the small does not fit on the platen. In case you're wondering. Um, again, I was trying to just thread it in. This is the way to know. You have the white showing on the inside. And the back is normally raised higher than the front. All right? So now, whatever you're going to heat press is facing you, whatever you're not, it's going to be facing the heat press. All right. Thread it in. So I kind of did the video in reverse. I showed the sub, I'm going to, well, by the time I've, I've shown you this video, you've probably seen already the submission video first and then you're going to see this video next all right again you want to use your t-shirt um, graphic guide to properly align it now we're going to take the logo properly place it i don't know if you can see it let's have you get closer all right come here there we go so all I'm doing is I'm looking at the grid, right? The grid is literally three fingers wide. If you want, you can go four fingers. There's like an arrow here, depending on what is your preference, right? I like to just put it right here. And this is sent, it's supposed to be centered. So you get an idea of where you're putting it. But what you could do is just lift the shirt side to side and just see if it's properly aligned. That's all. all. Right. Once you get it where you want it to be, remove the, the guide. Heat press it. Okay. All right. So, um, once you've applied heat, it evaporates um, the VLR. So all you need to do now is just wash it because, I mean, I don't think anybody would put a jersey in their mouth. But who knows? You need to wipe sweat, whatever. Last thing you want to do is have this in your eye. I doubt that's going to cause that much of an irritation, but you never know. Um, so you just want to make sure the person knows to just wash it wash the jerseys they're supposed to wash it before they wear it anyways but yeah so oh i forgot to do a nice stretch when you stretch it it allows the fabric and the vinyl to um be more relaxed because if not it's gonna feel stiff on there and then when you try to stretch it like now it's gonna feel even stiffer all right so that's it this is the front this is the back I mean, yeah, this is the back, this is the front, done. All right, I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna call it quits because this video is getting a little bit too long. Uh, I was trying to make it short. Um, this will not fit on the platen as you, as I mean, it will not be able to be weeded on the platen. So if you have a small jersey, you need a smaller platen. All right, um, unfortunately, I didn't get one of those heat press nation ones where you can remove this or the stalls um, you put a small one so again this is how you measure it you put up against you and you just go to the collar and then there you go the white that's showing means that that's the back um, the curve part right here that's the front all right you have to decide which one you're doing first me I'm doing the back so I'm gonna throw the back the back is facing me and the front is facing the platen. All right. So again, 
we're just gonna uh you know what let's just put the number because it while the heat is being applied it's evaporating the um the vlr anyways so all right let's arrange it properly there we go all right we got the seven make sure it's nicely centered okay looks good to me let's remove the t-shirt guy push it up just a little bit I'm trying to pause the video because it was taking a little too long. All right, cool. There you go. Do not forget to stretch. This allows the fabric to stretch with the vinyl. It doesn't feel stiff. Okay. Next, we're going to do the front. Again, we're going to take the t-shirt guide. Place it where it should be. Remove this right here out of the way. Okay, then we're just gonna take another of the logo. Make sure you place it correctly. And center as much as you can. Okay, let's put it right here. One last heat press, and then we're done. So, let me just hit this a little bit more. All right, cool. That's good enough. Woo-wee. Let's put the Mylar carrier there. Okay, so don't forget to stretch it again. When you stretch it, you make it more flexible because it stretches with the shirt. And there you go, front and back. Um, to you, it's gonna be backwards. To me, it's going to look correct. But yeah, there we go. So we have the two, the two jerseys, that was an issue. And now, let's fix this real quick, there we go. All right, cool. So yeah, so the jerseys were an issue, and um, I'm in the basement. I put on a hat because I don't like spiders falling on my head. It's weird, but anyways, um, yeah. So we just finished heat pressing um those two shirts. In next video, obviously you're gonna well, previous videos you probably already saw me sublimate and. Put on the vinyl on there. Like and subscribe. This is Levi Apparel. I appreciate you again. Um, this heat press compared to this heat press. This one stays on longer. And I don't have to worry about like it short, circuit, uh, short circuiting the outlet. But this bad boy right there. The bigger one that's 16 by 20. Holy moly. I got to unplug almost everything in order to run it. But this one, the 15 by 15, oh man, it's been doing great. And I think the counter works on every 10, um, I think 10 to 5 uh, press I do, then the counter counts. So, hey, it's a really interesting mix, but this is Levi Pearl. Like and subscribe. And hold on. Okay, again, we were using the VLR vinyl remover. Um, get yourself one. If you ever have an issue, you get one of these and it'll help, it'll save you like a whole day because had I have to, if I had to order these jerseys again, it would take like three, four days, maybe a week to get them. And then I would lose time on the job. Then the customer would have been upset. So like and subscribe. This is Levi Apparel. Get yourself some VLR. All right. I appreciate you. And I'm giving you tips and tricks to help you because 
when I need help, I went to YouTube, I got the help. So now you can come to YouTube and get the help.